hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I'm your host, the Game Changer, Wes Truth. And today I'm here to review a movie that came out this past weekend. It is a movie that I never saw a trailer for, I never heard of, I never even knew existed until I got to the theater last Thursday night and people were saying, oh, how about this movie? And I go, huh? What is that movie? <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, my review of the 2019 teen drama After... Coming up now. Tessa Young, a college freshman, is getting used to the social life of the university, and her wild roommate, Steph, in a way, is trying to help her adjust. One night, she meets Steph's friend, Harden. After a rocky start and a game of truth or dare that doesn't go so hot, the two begin to bond with each other. Of course, a number of things, such as Tessa's boyfriend, her mother, and Liam's friends stand in the way of their happiness to be a couple. So what did I think of After? I thought it's a terrible romance drama. It's based on a YA novel that's actually a fan fiction story on Harry Styles. So yeah, that's a thing. This is a film that really has no business being in theaters and felt more like a Netflix release or even an MTV television movie. As much as it steals from so many other recent romances, it actually feels like a parody film. It feels like Fifty Shades of Grey without the kinkiness or Twilight without the vampires. At first, I thought Hardin might have actually been a vampire, as he seems to be like a big-time Edward Cullen wannabe, but he's actually just a weird dick who's more of a pretentious bore than he is a bad boy that we're supposed to believe he is. The film lays on every single romantic cliché in the book, with things we've seen done before in recent Nicholas Sparks movies, or even all the way back to Greece. Of course, the two characters keep running into each other and have a number of things in common and argue over things like literature. Once the two start spending time together, they go swimming, sneak into the library and run from a security guard, and take a bath together. You know, the cheesy stuff that we've never seen before in this genre. <laughs> <laughs> the movie lays the melodrama on thick as well, with things like Tessa's mom saying she's totally going to cut her off if she stays with Harden. Tessa's boyfriend, who's a high school senior, gets dropped like a hot potato as well, but the story makes sure to make him as annoying as possible so we don't feel bad and that the audience is okay with that breakup. There's a number of eye-rollingly bad backstories, like the issues Harden has with his father because he used to be a drinker. The film tends to be unintentionally funny as well, and instead of the moments that are supposed to make us shocked or gasp, I found myself laughing out loud. There's also a lame twist thrown in towards the end which is amazingly stupid. All of the supporting characters here are awful people, and don't change throughout either. Some characters only exist to be nasty and ruin things for the main character. The cast stars Josephine Langford as Tessa, the freshman who's only at college for the classes and not for the partying, but ends up getting wrapped up in it. Hero finds Tiffin as Hardin Scott, the student who falls for Tessa and breaks his own rule of not dating anyone for her. Khadija Red Thunder as Steph Jones, Tessa's roommate who tries to get her to break out of her shell, and Selma Blair as Carol Young, Tessa's mom who doesn't like the fact that she's dating Harden. After is a compilation of bad love movie cliches and is one of the more boring romance films that I've sat through in the recent years. I'm going to give it the rating of, you know what, After, I only got two words for you. Suck it! Alright, well that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West True Playlist. 
And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter and the Instagram, at Wes Salis. Until next time, troop out.